So my first housing didn't really work. Uh, I tried using Tupperware and it was expanding and it wasn't letting the hydrogen uh, cause enough pressure inside the wet cell and actually output any PSI. So here's my new enclosure. I just bought a 6x6 PVC junction box and as you can see I changed my terminals around. I'm using metal strapping and I got stainless steel uh, quarter inch bolts that are going to be sticking through to the cover and I got ceiling washers and as you can see I already drilled out the holes that they're going to be sitting on and I'm going to have a ceiling washer on top of that as well and then I got some wing nuts to put down on my terminals uh, I also flipped the cell around so I have the extra length of the nylon quarter inch bolts that are holding my cells together actually using them as like a stand to hold it up off the ground so it's not resting on the bottom of the container so there's like an inch gap underneath the cell so lots of uh, you know chemical reaction can happen under there or whatever whatever this thing does so all I have to do now is just make a out port for the hydrogen to go into my bubbler and then we can start sealing this container up for good and see if it has any leaks and uh, hopefully we can get some PSI out of it Alright, I just drilled my three quarter inch hole for my hydrogen output and I got it snug fit into the top of the cover. Now what I'm going to do is take my handy dandy Loctite five minute set plastic epoxy. I'm going to blend it up, let it, to, let it get a little hard and then I'm going to apply it on both sides of that and seal that thing in there permanently. And then I can get the cover mounted onto these uh, electrical terminal screws, get them bolted into place and then probably epoxy them as well. I don't want any leaks in this cell. My last thing, the whole test is ruined because it was leaking. So hopefully this will be sealed properly. Let's give it a go. Okay, so I got the main cell box housing pretty much to where I wanted it. I have the electrical connections coming out and I have my one hydrogen out and it's uh, plastic epoxied on the inside and out. And I can't really lift this cover up too far because my cell's right down there, but I'll, uh, I'll give you a little peek in. I got the straps going up to my stainless steel hex bolts and they go through and they got gasketed uh, washers on the top and bottom and they're in there really snug. So I'm hoping I don't have any leaks through this. So I'm just going to let this epoxy sit for probably like 45 minutes to an hour before I start messing with anything else. But this one's pretty much ready to go. Now I just need to work on the bubbler. And I also picked up a bunch of stainless steel uh, hose clamps just to make sure that these uh, barbed push-on adapters have a solid connection. Alright, so let's finish this system up. Well, here's the enclosure, as you know. And... Uh, as you can see, I'm going to have the outlet of the hydrogen coming out of that through this hose, and it's going to be entering into the smaller box, and that's going to be my bubbler. It's going to enter into that white inlet that's uh, the 90 degree one, and it's going to percolate down into the water, and it's going to come out of that hole. So, my last fitting I'm going to glue going this way over into my engine. Okay, I'm letting the glue sit, the epoxy sit on my bubbler. I'm finishing the build on the bubbler right now. I have my inlet where it's going to be uh, percolating out of the water, and here is the outlet, the uh, the metal fitting. That's the only thing they had at the store. I wanted to get another 90 degree PVC one, but this is what I'm stuck with, so I don't know if I'm going to epoxy this one yet. Alright, so I just filled the cell up and I closed the thing up permanently and sealed it for now and I got my hose clamp on and my hose on and it is holding pressure pretty well I just uh, put some PSI in the tube and there were no air leaks so far that I could see and it held the pressure good so hopefully this thing works alright the lighting's real bad but I uh, have it powered up in my car and I got it bubbling into the bubbler right now just to show you that it actually is at an idle creating gases. I just changed my electrolyte because I was blowing 20 amp fuses and it was way too much of a load on my car and it almost makes it not even efficient to try to save gas mileage by burning more fuel to power the amperage that this requires. So uh, I changed the electrolyte and I put almost next to no sod sodium hydroxide in there 
So it's almost all tap water. And as you can see, it's bubbling here into the bubbler. So I'm going to put the thing back together now and see if it actually works. All right, I got the system uh, fully hooked up right now and in the car. As you can see, uh, it's got the positive and negative terminals on top. It's putting out 13 volts. And there is a bunch of condensation in the line, the hydrogen outline. And it's going down into the bubbler, bubbling, percolating through the water. And then it's coming up in the outlet tube. And that is running all the way up and entering through the shutoff valve into my intake. All we can do now is uh, see if it works. It seems like it's doing something. It's got uh, the condensation getting into the second tube. So it's obviously feeding some type of uh, gas through these lines. So let's test it out, see what we get.